Say, you have never read a poem in your life and you are not aware what it means to not have poetry in your life. And you say, how can I miss what I don't know? And you are so right. But in the same vein, it doesn't take away from the beauty of a sunrise or the fragility of a bud if you don't notice them. It's not their loss. It definitely is yours. This is Sunil Bhandari and you are listening to Uncut Poetry. The things we become when we leave. We won't be found until our hearts are broken. That's what she wrote in her last poem to me. She said, Don't think it's you, my love, my kindest, most beautiful you. But in this tragedy of me, you are my collateral damage and I will be with you even after I depart as you look at me, look out for me, plaintive in your silence with your tragedy of unresolved sympathy. Would you understand if I said I leave you for another world? For I have seen light reflecting off surfaces even in the dark, but also know that darkness can find its way into light in insidious ways you wouldn't even know. I have lived enough in the slow deconstruction of my own comforts to now not fight when the world plunges into an abyss in its collective soul. I have been loved enough by warm lights, settled cozily in our living room and dreamt of common silences filled with soft electric tones to not know the seduction of the ordinary. It's a well at waste of life and one in which our love could only grow. But something is stamping on my soul and I wake nights with nightmares of possibilities and the ways I can find change nestling like a baby desperate to grow. I have gone, love. Now, let me go. I will meet you again, I know, in the quietude which you so love. If I come to rest a while and put my head on that nook of your shoulder, just let me be. I am not the earth to not rest and I have not factored what I would finally become. I am not the earth to not rest and I have not factored what I would finally become. We are all changeable creatures. 50 billion of our cells die every day. Physically, we are not the same today as we were yesterday. And that irrefutable truth seeps into the very core of our beings. Every day we change as persons do, imperceptibly, almost surreptitiously people we meet, the experiences we stumble into, what our senses see, what scares our heart. If our beings revel in the scars and bleed in the unexpected, we are already what we were not. And we start looking at everything and everyone with new eyes. And often the direction of our life changes. The people we thought were inseparable to the importance of our lives now look like milestones. Without the love dimming, without the care diminishing, we know we have different directions to take. And we drift. And we leave. We do not break off relationships only out of bitterness or regret. Sometimes we also recognize that we have moved on and moved in different directions. And we know it's time to part. And we know the hurt we will leave behind. We know explanations might sound lame and to say I love you whilst leaving is contrarian and often unexplainable. But a heart knows the truth. 
it often says that there are bigger issues than love when our very existence is at stake when the space we need to find for ourselves needs to be unencumbered when what we stand for or seek needs solitude because we've already crowded it with personalities and our own personas which require either recognition or elimination we do not leave anybody we are only in search of a new self and to find a new nook which says stay this is sunil bhandari and you are listening to ankit poetry did you enjoy what you heard leave a message on apple podcast or a rating on spotify and follow ankit poetry on amazon prime google podcast gana jio savan spotify or anywhere you get your podcasts and if you loved this episode share it with someone you love see you next week